America, Tom Hand here with Americana Corner. Today we are discussing our Continental Army. When General George Washington took command of the Continental Army, the challenges he faced were formidable. Instead of one unified force, every colony had its own militia, each at various stages of development. Most militiamen were untrained, wore civilian dress, and were armed with family hunting muskets. Except for a few men like Henry Knox and Nathaniel Green, the officers were not much better, as most had been elected because of their popularity with the men and not due to any military skills or experience. Consequently, training was non-existent, discipline was lax, and the men were disrespectful to their officers. Most soldiers were between the ages of 15 and 30 and came from all walks of life. They served for one to three years and pay was $6 per month. In camp, soldiers received a pound and a half of beef, a pound of bread, and two ounces of alcohol each day, if Congress could keep them supplied. By comparison, the British Army was a force of well-equipped and well-trained soldiers led by professionals and far more numerous than the Continentals. Additionally, the British Navy was the strongest in the world and controlled the seas. Its ships could quickly transport troops from one location to another and keep supplies from reaching the Americans. As General Washington took command, he knew winning battles was critical to maintaining morale but his primary mission was to build and preserve the Continental Army. He would do this masterfully over the course of the next eight years. Next week, we will discuss our rocky start against the British Army. Until next time, may your love of country lead you.